Hi everyone, welcome to another example from Jacob Agard's book, Excelling at Chess Calculation. In this position, it is white to move and win, according to the book. This is in the combination section of his book. So I guess there's some kind of combination that we have here. Uh, so as always, pause your video, try to solve it on your own, and then when you're done, we'll, we'll solve it together. So I'm looking at this position, I mean, my first instinct is certainly to move g4, attacking his bishop and deflecting it from the knight. In that case, black has moves like king to e6, uh, attacking our knight. But somehow this seems very, very risky. Uh, though admittedly, I haven't found a forced win yet. Oh, maybe I have. Well, let's see, g4... King f6, knight f3, bishop g6, mm. oh, let's see, g4, king e6, I think knight f3 wins then, so I'm going to demonstrate this position, knight f3, only, uh, chess.com keeps retracting my moves, I have no idea why, bishop g6, simply takes, takes, what the hell, all right, king to e5, knight to f7. King e5 is the only move that defends the bishop. So king e6 doesn't work at all. King f6 is the only real move. Maybe just rook f1 now. Looks pretty winning to me, honestly. I think that's it. I think that's the, that's the solution. If king takes knight, rook takes bishop. And if knight moves away, we can just move our knight away. We can do whatever. Uh, not that square. <laughs> uh, let's go to d3. So yeah, I don't, I don't understand like what, what's the problem with g4. Pretty sure that's it. It's just a simple, simple little... I mean, I guess you have to see knight f3. Maybe there's another move here as well, but knight f3 seems to do the trick. Uh, because of that, that variation. King to e5, knight to f7. Cool, cool. Uh, let me just double check to see that I'm right, but I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, I mean, black's best move actually after after g4 is knight to f2, but then we win uh, two pieces for the rook. Take, take, and white is basically a winning position. So let me just see what they're looking for in the book. Some of these puzzles are not like super complicated. G4, King E6, Knight F3. Yeah, so basically you had to see this Knight F3 move to, to really understand why why it wins so easily. Um, just a nice little pattern, I guess. But all right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,